five, hey. four, hey. three, two. What up, y'all? Welcome to Here's Thing. I'm Kevin on stage. She. That chick ain't yet. Welcome to another podcast episode. Smash that like button. Smash that notification button. Baby. 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 To Terry while you're telling jokes. Mm. Hey, shout out to the ball CD. You'll be the only one to hear it. I'm just going to put it in your high shot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to get the anointed laughter. Get the, the anointed laughter. Uh, I really honestly cannot remember anything. So hey, You know what? That big foe. You had a big weekend. <laughs> that big foe. So, so you had a big weekend. I'm sure this is something, but I'll tell you next week. All right. Now, sports talk. Rookie of the year. WNBA. Who you feeling? Oh my gosh, WNBA. Uh, of course, I, of course, I'm always gonna put my my vote for Miss Angel. Big Reese, my namesake, because I do think she's been balling. I do think she's been killing she it. Has the single season WNBA record? Period. Not for a rookie. Mm -hmm. She owns the most rebounds in a single season. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to say Angel. I'm going to say Angel. Do I think they will give it to her? I don't know. They don't. They, you don't have to worry about it. I don't know. That my baby. I got two jerseys. Caitlin Clark gonna get that award. I know that there's so much attention on that girl. No, no, no. Hooping for hooping's sake. <laughs> she is. No, 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 no. And I know she's a hooper. I'm not saying that she's oh, okay. not. But I just feel like Angel just had a great freaking season. I think if Angel came out last year or maybe next year, she probably would have gotten played the same way. She'd get so much heat. Yeah. But Caitlin, since the Olympic break, that girl been. First of all, she plays an easy style of basketball that you can vote for. Mm -hmm. Them, The three's been dropping. They weren't dropping early in the season. But when don't I watch you look her, at the whole season, though? They look at the whole season. <laughs> <laughs> they look at the whole season. That's what I'm saying. They look at the whole season. And 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 also, they tend to look towards the last part well, of the season see, well, for then those that's not fair. That's not fair. But she been hitting three after three after three. Um, now, the, the Caitlin Clark stands got mad at me because I was saying that Asia Wilson should be the MVP. Of course. No debate. Of course. She done gone for 40. I know it. And you know that. And they, they, they hit me and said, I'm shading Caitlin Clark. Because I, I I'm mad that she's in the MVP discussion. I said, no. I'm sorry. Is it because you got a signed jersey sitting on your desk? No. Could be. <laughs> I didn't even think that was up for debate. I didn't know them folks was like Caitlyn should be the MVP. It's happened in the WNBA. Candace Parker was the MVP in her rookie season. Wow. I didn't watch that season, but I don't think anybody was beating Asia. And if it was gonna be her, it was gonna be Nafisha Collier. I didn't think Caitlyn had a chance at MVP. Them folks, you might, you, they, you, I might as well have told them stands, Caitlyn can't hoop at all. I said, y'all, I actually made a whole video on Twitter and was like, y'all got to chill. Cause everything, anything you say about a WNBA player, it seems like Caitlyn stand, I'm using the word stands. Cause there's a lot of rational people who yeah. support and like her. I'm not referencing them. People yeah. who, um, have a level head on their shoulders. Yeah. But you talk about Angel Reese, your comments fill up with Caitlin's better, Caitlin clears, Caitlin should win rookie of the year. You talk about Asia Wilson win. You could talk about defensive player of the year <clears throat> and they'd be like, Caitlin should get that too. And I'd be like, now come on now. Now what do you think would happen if they did give rookie of the year to Angel? Would there just be Civil a war. Do you think so? Civil War in America. They that'd, was, be the, that'd be the they tipping point. They would storm the Capitol again. That'd be the tipping point. I don't think they could even give them. I was hoping for co-rookies of the year prior to the Olympic break. break. Share it. I was like, let them share. Let LeBron and Melo was neck and neck. They gave it to LeBron prior to the Olympic break. If they gave it to Angel, Civil War. Because if voter they looked fraud. at the whole. Voter fraud. It would be voter fraud. If they were looking at the whole season, you feel like Angel should not be in real contention with Caitlin. Whole season, mm -hmm. not after the Olympic whole, break. I'm, if you give the whole season, Caitlin Clark has probably put together a more of a 
rookie of the year resume, all things included. What that means is first there's style points. There just is shooting deep threes and dope assists. We are human beings. It's a beautiful game of basketball. Rebounding is a very important part of basketball. It's not a sexy part of basketball. You don't see a highlight of just niggas. Hey, outlet. Hey, outlet. Uh, one of the things they get on Angel a lot is she rebounds a lot of her own misses. They blow it out of proportion. But it's it's style points. Also, Caitlin Clark's team is uh, has a better record than Angel's team. Fever over the Suns. Fever over the Suns. The Fever so. are going to be a tough uh, they, they sons, not the sky. Oh, no, no, sky. Okay, I was like, sun is Connecticut. Okay, listen, did you see me pick it up? Yeah, no, I said, now listen, because you know the sports, Angel. I'm a sports. I was just talking to my comrade and uh, fellow sports commentator, uh, Jamel Hill. Oh, wow, friend of the pod. Yeah, I was talking to her this weekend, and I said, you know. I am the sports commentator on Here's the Thing. She said, I do. You know more than Jamel. I don't care if she worked at ESPN and was a journalist <laughs> for the Detroit and Orlando. I, when I talk about somebody who knows sports, I tell my other friends how much Angel knows. Listen, she uh, said, I see you, and you do an excellent job. I said, I Excellent know. job. I said, you know. Uh, but no, I think, uh, Caitlin, they, their team has a better record. They're playing better. And head-to-head, -head, I think the Fever have won three out of their four times they played. So if you're a voter, I, you're, you're voting for Caitlin Clark, I believe. Uh, Caitlin Clark might be all WNBA second team, maybe even first team. Like that's how good she's been playing. Mm -hmm. She's been hitting 30, oh, it's, it's two and one or three and one. Uh, but anyway, uh, now as a fan of Angel, uh, the Sky have a much worse overall basketball team, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Kelsey Mitchell, who played for the Fever, is a great veteran guard. She is a she went for like thirty the other night. But one of the reasons the Fever closed out games really well is because of Kelsey Mitchell. Like she's what you need, somebody who knows how to play, knows how to score. Aaliyah Boston is um, a more um, talented offensive scorer than Angel Reese or Camilla Cardoso, and they run plays through her. Mm -hmm. And then you have Caitlin Clark, and they have good vets yeah, around them. They have them. a better team. They have period. a better team. So I was yeah, reading the team this, is going to yeah. have a better record. I was reading some stats the other day, because mind you, I'm coming back in after not watching the WM for a long time. They said the Sky lost their top five scorers from last year. They're one of the few teams that starts two rookies, uh, and their leading scorer from earlier in the season got traded, Mabry, and Elizabeth Williams, who was their, supposed to be their good veteran, uh, got hurt at the top of the season, been out for the year. And they're still in playoff contention. So, so I'm going to ride for Angel Reese. That's what I'm saying. She got the, the horse with the broken leg and is still in the, in the derby. Okay? Yes. I think if they get their, they need to get their team together, together to be a better uh, team. But Angel be balling, and I don't care what you say. She got 20 rebounds, two games in a row. That's my dog. If she get Rookie of the Year, I, you heard it here first because that's who yeah. I'm voting for when they ask me. They, the Sky needs some more players in order to be more competitive. No but shade I love to Caitlin Clark. No shade to uh, Caitlin she, Clark. That girl be balling, and her her stands be just make it unbearable to talk about anything sports. I'll be like, bro, ain't nobody even talk about her. And she looked like a ball player. She looked like that's what she do. She do. Patrick Beverly was like, people like Caitlin Clark because she she's the height of an average woman. I was like, Caitlin Clark is six feet tall. That is not average woman what height. Average woman is my my mother in law <laughs> is six feet, and I don't think of her as average. No. Woman. Hi, mama. What you doing up there, like that? What what you doing up there? Come down. Yeah, like bro, people like Caitlin Clark because she's good at basketball, and she's kind of a clit head. Wow. She talks trash like Steph, like. She comes across as humble. I'm from Iowa. Corn. But she hits those three. Corn. <laughs> She'll hit a layup. She's like, did that go in? She yells. She complains about fouls a lot. Like, mm -hmm. bruh. She just like Steph. People think Steph is humble. He, This is not humble. No. When not, you go night Not night, in an international platform. Nuit, nuit. Not <laughs> humble at all. He's yeah. a jerk. And it worked because what you finna do? I shot it from mm -hmm. 28 feet. Mm -hmm. What you finna do? It's okay. People can be clit heads. Angel's a clit head all the time. I am. It's all right. one of my favorite things. Two more sports things before we move on. Yeah. College football. Are you? Yes. Roll dog time. <laughs> Roll dead good time. 
This yeah. is the first year that the college football playoffs have expanded to 12 teams. The Pac-10, rest in peace, Josh. We yeah. got nowhere to go. Pac-12? Pac-12, actually. We got nowhere to go. Me Man. and Josh outside naked. We don't... I was terrified this week in USC, LSU. On a, on a Monday? Capitalism is terrible, but great. <laughs> because we had college football from like Friday, Saturday, a college football game on Sunday that was and Monday, oh, Monday and too. big games. Yes, and then the NFL they're playing on Thursday, Friday. Oh yeah, they're running the, they're running the numbers up at this Bro. point. Yeah, they said Remember when Monday night football Amazon, was a big thing cuz everything was on Sunday? Everything. It's too it's Capitalism was like, mm-hmm. what if there's just a game a little bit every day? Every day. A man can sit down, scratch his balls. And watch. It's just so many games. They playing in the college football last week. They played in Ireland. I said, y'all don't even pretend to let these babies go to class. Yeah. They don't even. Ireland? They, they played a Why? football game in, Ar- in Ireland. We ain't got enough fields here in America. <laughs> <laughs> Not big Ireland enough. people got that money plus Guinness. Oh, my God. Well, bump the college people. Kai and Sai start. Flag football today. There we oh. go. They're not going to the Olympics. They're flagging the football, yes, because that's the only version <laughs> they mama letting them play. That's right. I respect it. So, All right. Now. You know I played flag football in high school and college. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You said there was one more thing. You said two more things than yeah. college football. Is one oh, the NFL starts this week, too, on Thursday. Dun, 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 dun. Bum, 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 bum. All right. So, Trump, <laughs> Trump got in a little bit of trouble. Did he really? Yeah. Because he going up and into cemeteries, doing campaign videos. They went to... Did Okay, so I, do you know exactly what happened? Because I've been following this story. Tell the people what happened if you don't know. So, um... Nine, eight, seven, six, five. 